Boom, boom. Greetings all! Last Outrider back with the next part of Shield Maidens of Lysios. Let's get to The Swarm Descends. When the Order of the Sacred Rose brought the light of the Emperor to Lysios in the 41st millennium, they found that the populace still clung to their strange myths. To the Lysites, it was far more palatable to believe a romantic legend was behind the cataclysm that had ruined their world instead of some celestial fluke. The Adeptus Sororitas intended to see that belief expunged and were prepared to implement severe religious persecution to accomplish it. One way or another, the emperor would be given his due. When the Sisters of Battle first made Planetfall upon Lysios, they were confronted by a world of emptiness and death. The vast majority of the planet's surface was clustered with shattered and algae-clad ruins. Every crumbled plaza and weather-beaten temple reeked like a seabed drained of brine. The grandiose buildings that had adorned its reaches in ages past had been reduced to the bare bones of a once great civilization. An empire drowned in some terrible deluge and dredged back up to face the cruel light. Not a single soul walked the seaweed-strewn streets, for the populace had long ago found a way to avoid the slow but deadly menace that casts its shadow across their lives. To their mounting amazement, the Adapta Sororitas realized that the world's cities had been submerged not once, but thousands of times, and that its pipe people had learned to eke out a living from their world, regardless of the natural disasters which had stolen all hope of stability. When the bioships of High Fleet Leviathan pushed their way through the glittering shield, a large continent of Adeptus Sororitas had already begun their religious pogroms. They had mobilized just under 7,000 battle sisters from the orders of the Sacred Rose and our Martyred Lady, and ensured their optimum deployment throughout the system. The Ecclesiarchy stood ready to enact a full-scale religious persecution upon Lysios and its neighboring planets. As the cryptoid tendril grew even closer, it became more and more obvious that fate had a different role in mind for the Adepta Sororitas. When word of the encroaching Tyranid swarms reached the cardinals of the Ecclesiarchy, Canonus Grace, who was in overall command of the Battle Sisters stationed upon Lysios, found her orders changed. She was not to persecute the populace, but to protect it. After a year spent in constant movement as her rolling crusade weeded, weeded out heresy from the Lysite crawler hulks, Grace's astonishment mingled with several other emotions. Frustration at the jarring change in orders, relief that her executions of the civilian populace could end, and a healthy dose of of fear. The canonists had encountered the great devourer once before, upon Desikran, where she had learned both to hate 
and respect its deadly single-mindedness. Though her sisters of battle rooted out the tyrannid breeder organisms before they could do much damage, it was a victory won at high cost in lives. Grace still woke sweating every night with memories of endless scratching and Zeno's teeth grinding and glinting under the strobe lumens of the desicron sewers. A lesser woman would have resigned her position or even succumbed to madness long ago. But Canonus Grace instead tempered her inner steel with the knowledge that the Tyranid hordes could be beaten. After receiving news that the Tyranid fleet would descend upon Lysos in the space of less than a week, the Adeptus Sororitas wasted no time in adopting new tactics. The vast resources of the Adeptus Ministorum were upon were hers to bear, and those parts of Lysios not currently underwater were fortified. Impromptu defenses raised en masse before the invasion struck home. Salt-stained quadrants were dotted with drop bastions. Algae-covered architecture was reinforced with vitreous bars. And deserted streets were ringed with lair after lair of Aegis defense lines. If the planet's nomadic populace kept themselves to a predetermined exclusion zone, the Sisters of Battle believed Lysios had every chance of riding out the coming invasion. Ready for that? Next part will be ba -ba -bum, the Great Chorale. Until then, bye.